Hello, this is Death Rider, and welcome back to Final Fantasy III. We are currently on the Dal Continent, and we've got this manor here that we're about to go into. Uh, Dolga Manor. We did change Ark's job to accommodate the ancient cave I was in. I didn't do any grinding there yet. Um, I want to see what this is going to do for us. I'm kind of hoping to see the fourth crystal soon so that I could, like, you know, start... Not necessarily finalizing jobs, but get a really good setup. Okay, what's gonna happen? Who dares trespass inside the great wizard Doga's manor? Seize them! Koopo? We're fighting Moogles? What is happening? Hmm. I know you, don't I? Ah, the warriors of light. Good to, good of you to come. I have something to tell you. Uh, I'm very confused of the previous sequence, but let's just proceed. The one who is summoning the darkness into the world is none other than Zande. Zande, Une, and I were apprentices of the great Magus Noah. When Noah died, he d bestowed upon us gifts. Gifts. The power of magic to me, the world of dream to Une, and to Zande, Noah granted him immortality. Mortality is a gift? What a short-sighted wizard. Holy crap. Magic. Dreams. You're gonna die someday. Well. Zande was not pleased. No, really? Like that? I, that? I feel like that's kind of a given. He covered this world in darkness and stopped the flow of time. Eh, well, you know, that's... That's a good way to... Be immortal when you're mortal. Sunday's plan was to stay his eventual demise by halting time itself. But then you appeared and restored time to its rightful rhythm. However, Zande seems intent on stopping time again. Come, you must help me stop Zande. Oh, yay. Yeah, that is... Wh wow. Mortal the gift of mortality. How nice. Come, you must escort me to the cave of the circle. In my room is a secret, a secret passage that leads to the cave. The candle on the wall is the switch that opens the hidden door. I see two candles. Oh, well. Okay, cool. The candle on... Well, he did, actually, in, my, in his defense, he said the candle on the wall. Oh, this is Mognet. Alright, I don't know if there's... The game's giving me Mognet, so it makes me think that there's some... Like, someone's gonna actually get a message. Okay, cool. I hit X and then circle. Like, there's just nothing. Alright. Cool. Oh, you've got a lot of moogles. Ooh, shops? Wow. Haste? Stona, Eroga, Bio, Fyraga. Um... What did I say about not doing my grinding yet? Oh, well, that's significantly less exciting. Oh my god, these spells! And that ancient cave would be a fantastic place to level grind and get get gold a uh, gill. It smells like Chocobo. Uh, a candle that smells like Chocobo. How nice. I should probably talk to these. Okay, Lady Une is asleep in the shrine south of Saronia, protecting the world of dream. The floating continent was created by the destructive waves of darkness that Master Zande called forth. Oh, interesting. Okay, finally that's kind of explained. Actually, it is explained. When Master Zande left, he said that he was angry because the Great Magus no only gave him mortality. Yeah, I... Oh, jeez. 
How terrible. I feel bad for the Zande. Go into the cave of the circle. That place is dangerous. Don't go. The world of darkness. So the cave is filled with monsters from that world. The magic water in that pot over there will restore your magic power and health. Use the magic book on the table to revive any of your party. Really? Just like that? Sweet. So this is the book of life? Nothing happens. Well, I wonder why. So... Nope. There it is. Apparently I found it. Whoa! That happened. I'm kind of concerned about this. This is giving me endgame vibes for some reason. I, I... I don't think it will... Whoa. There's no indication that this is a walkthrough, and yet here we are. Oh, I see that. We gotta cast Mini. Okay, cool. Just making sure you have a white mage, I guess, even though I don't know why you wouldn't. Mini or Toad? Hmm. Specifically for you. Nope, that's not what I meant to do, but there you go, Rufia. Now you get to be a Toad. Heh <laughs> heh. Very small. And yeah. You must be very small. Oh, wow. Does everyone need to be the exact same? Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, how about now? Now it works. So, I guess this is just how we are for now. Oh, boy. Hopefully we won't... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Flyer mage. I'll still try to attack, but I'm not going to expect much out of this. So let's do Fyra and Blizzara. See what's better. Their offense isn't affected, which is good. Alright, well they have less than a thousand, so they're not that threatening. If this starts to feel like something major, I'm going to duck out and level grind. Those, those fungi are floating. Also, that XP. Holy crap. Maybe I'll just stay here and grind. 1,400? It's pretty sweet. And immediately if... Well, I guess he's not coming. Immediately if this is a point of no return situation, I will 100% reload that save. Like, honestly, we should just... We should just grind here, because if, if if they can't even hit us... Oh, zero. Yikes. Yeah, like, if this is exactly how these battles are going to go for the amount of gill and XP I'm getting... Yeah, I'll just grind here. Huh. Alright, bye. You still somehow come with us. So this just, is this just gonna, okay, so now it's, we're on a trunk, or dirt path, something. Okay, so this is number three. Gonna have another one, or, oh, the circle. It's very round. Okay. <coughs> We must hurry. My time ha has almost come. Wow, okay, you're just gonna die here soon? I will cast a spell on your ship so that it may travel underwater. Well, that's a thing. Awesome. Underwater Zeppelin. I really don't know how that's gonna work. Zavada, Moo Woo, Kaipo, or whatever that said. The Nautilus cannot travel underwater. Wow. Just like that, huh? A Zeppelin that flies with hot air is now going to be submergible. Hmm, physics. Head south from Saronia. The Temple of Time lies between the Pillars of Cape Twin Horn. Pillars of Cape Twin Horn. And the temple is where you will find Noah's loot. What does Noah's loot do? 
just because Luneth hasn't spoken in a while. It is a magic loot whose timber will reach even into the world of dream. You must use it to call Une back from the world of dream. I will now use the circle to enter the rift between dimensions and find the key to Eureka. Your task is to wake Une and obtain the ancient ship known as the Invincible. You just advanced our current airship, and now we're going to quest for another one. You must hurry now. I will teleport you outside. Give my regards to Une. Farewell, warriors of light. We will meet again. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a good grinding spot, and we're still mini. And we can now go underwater. Cool. So that makes me wonder now. Uh, so can I just literally... Ooh. Is it going to be a whole nother world? Oh, wow. It's a whole nother world, isn't it? Huh. Well, immediately. Da fishies. And we've got lightning lightning stuff, so this should go well. And yeah, well, it's not as effective as I thought it would be. The real question is, is how much... Wow, 2,000. How much are we going to get from this? Yeah, I'm going to need to change Ark to his uh, light staff. What do we get? Holy crap! That was such an easy battle. Okay, so... Oh, I see how this is working. Okay. So... Is this literally just a wide open space? If so, I'll just wander it. And this will be my level grinding. Whoa. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Unless I find something. Huh. Okay. This looks like a thing. I just want to say, grinding down here is fantastic. You don't go far without encounters, and the XP is pretty great. It's like nine-ish battles for each level. So we've been getting tons of levels, but what is going on here? Well, that's a thing. Sunken cave. Okay, I'm going to go through this quickly. Oops, can I save here? I keep hitting wrong buttons. I can save here. I mean, yeah, this would be an overworld. And also notice my gill. I've got 55,000 gill. Pretty sweet. So let's take a look what the, what's going on in here. I've got some different music, finally. Instead of the typical d dungeon music. All right. Well, you first of all, you guys are flying, so don't expect to last long against Ingus. Yeah, I've been just... I, I sent him back to uh, a bar just... Because then I, I never need to heal, which is fantastic. Oh, my God. You guys are weak. Oh, my God. And I just want to say, Lunith, on average, does more than 2,000 damage. It's pretty amazing. Like... Vikings are beasts. I mean, it also helps that his hammer he has... Oh, 4,000 damage. His hammer is uh, lightning elemental. Oh, 3,000 XP? We have another better grinding spot. If that's what I'm to expect. Oh, lionfish? Okay, I don't like... I don't like the face on the crab. Well... It also helps that we don't take much damage. <laughs> when you consider that arc, we get free heals at like 150 HP each turn first. Like, he's first to go each turn. So it's just even better. Okay. I even consider changing everyone to high vitality jobs, meaning we would get more HP. So, like, I would use that as, like, HP boosting. Hello. Tiger claws. Well, we don't have a black belt yet. I don't know who who other than oh a monk. 
I haven't I've I've read good things about black belts on online. I don't know. Ooh, 170 now. I I've never really been all that attracted to those kinds of classes. I mean, Yang in Final Fantasy IV was great, but if it were my choice, I typically never go with a monk. Like in Final Fantasy One, I, I never did. Uh, in Final Fantasy II, I never went with just fists. It's, I mean, from the crudest point of view, it's less fun, you know. Like, they don't they don't typically have weapons. Four thousand XP. They don't typically have weapons, so I I don't know. I've always found it less fun. I don't know. I I've just never been all that drawn to that that style of class. Okay, well we could go down there. Oh yes, more you bizarre things. Yeah, so this past recording session has been great and all, but this will probably be the last one, and I don't know how long it's going to be till the next time I play. Hopefully, this upcoming weekend. I mean, it's the 29th of March, so. Ooh, actual levels instead of job levels. Nice. We've been rocking it with the levels, though. It's insane. But anyway, yeah, like as I was saying, this recording session is going to be over. Um, I don't really get much time to record outside the weekend. But, uh, yeah. Also, in case anyone's interested with my life at all, I'm trying to move out of my parents' house. Uh, doing so would make my presence on YouTube much more reliable because I would have more time dedicated to myself and my own interests. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to do that, but there's dual tomahawk. Sounds like a throw item. Uh, but there's things that have just been in my way. Oh my god. It's an axe, a better axe. I love that. But yeah, and that actually will matter to you guys, you know, when I, when I eventually move out. Because, you know, with my... YouTube schedule then becoming more more prominent or uh, there'll be more that I'll be doing um, usually when I find myself playing more like playing games a lot I could have like two let's plays co-uploading uh, turtle shell um, which would be nice if I could always have two let's plays going at once Oh, yeah, I got backups. Uh, Earth and Bell. Where's that thing I just got? Kaiser Knuckles, huh? Okay, well, first of all, I actually kind of forgot what I just got. <laughs> uh, what did I just get? Claws, interesting. I don't know what I just got. It's not a key item. I don't know what I got. I got something. Okay, so that's the way up. I know where the way down is. Chakram? What are you? Oh, boomerang. Okay. 69,000 gil. This is the place to get gil. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, so I saw the way to the next floor. I might cut out until then because it seems like the battles are pretty prominent here. So, see you guys then. Ah, here we go. Okay. On wood. Deeper in. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Many branching paths to many chests. Ancient sword. Well, no one here can use swords. Eighty inflicts paralysis. Ooh, okay. That's nice. Diamond shield. Metal knuckles. Diamond. Wow, I can't believe we're getting diamond stuff now. 
Cognimitome? What? Is that... That's not... It's, it's, there's tome in the word, so I assume... Yeah. Oh, it's just attack. Okay, cool. Uh, who here can even use that? Ah, you can. Uh, what did I get? I got... Oh, wait, was it a diamond shield? Oh, yeah, you could totally wear diamond, too. Well, hold on. Who has more? Okay, so you make more sense to have that. Wow, you still don't have the same amount as him. Hopefully we get a diamond mail. That would be nice. Okay. Skip race into these battles. Like, these aren't even... These are pretty mindless battles. They're not difficult in any way. So... Yeah, we do so much damage. Nice, Rod. I don't even know if we're supposed to be here yet. I'm not even entirely clear on that. What are our job levels now? We've been getting a lot of them. 33, 20, 50, 70. Oh, man. She's almost 99. More treasure. Tons of treasure down here. All just equipment. Wow, game's really just throwing tons of stuff at us. Loki harp. Diamond bracers. Yeah, and we absolutely annihilate these things. Jeez. And they do, like, no damage to us. Yeah, <laughs> 4,000 damage. Yikes. Hey, got some actual levels. Sweet. Air knife. Okay, more diamond crap. Diamond mail. Oops. Oh, you can't wear the diamond bracers. You wear bracers. Apparently, can't do that, though. Uh, we also got a new harp. Let's see what that does. Ah, diamond bracers. Ooh, if that can go, definitely go to her. Yes, 100%. Okay, I'm kind of curious what this Loki harp's gonna do now. Phoenix down. Always nice. Elixir. Diamond gloves. Well, 76, 68. Okay, so he's more tanky. He clearly needs more defense. Ingus really hasn't had a huge issue with health from what I can, like, for a long time from what I can remember. Oh, shoot. I re-equipped him with something, so he's not doing his normal auto battle action. Okay, sing. Let's see what this does. I... Okay. Don't know what that did. Might have to look it up. I don't know what that did, but it's not the healing, so I'm gonna... Swap back to that turtle shell. Oh, that's what we got before that I was curious. Oh, wait, we also got a knife. Hold on, that's right. We, we've gotten a lot of stuff in here. Or not? Turtle sh Oh, there it is. Cast a protective magic spell. Well, that couldn't be more vague. Air knife, that's right. Okay, that's just... And a dagger of wind element. Fantastic. So... Can I go deeper in, or is this as deep as it goes? Oh, crap. I didn't change 6,000 damage. There we go. Did Was that 8,000? That looked like 8,000. So, it looks like... 
This is as far as it goes, huh? Nothing else here? Hmm. I have a hard time believing that this is all that's here. Oh, that axe that, uh, in Erluneth has. That looks really cool. His hammer looks kind of bizarre. Looks like bells on a stick. Okay. Yeah, so is this... Is this it? I have a hard time believing that this is it. Like, that's... All that's here. There has to be a way I haven't gone yet. Okay, now that was that. That's the way up. Hmm. I'm gonna double check things. I'll see you guys if I find something. Also, I just realized Refia's not doing that. Ah! Okay. Well, there's a thing. I don't know if this is really anything else. Like, I, I don't know if it's just secret treasure or if it's actually... Um, deeper in, I would hope so. I just kind of started rubbing against walls and such, you know, typical drill. Oh, it just looks like more treasure. Age of Shield, but it's a trap. Ooh, okay, Age of Shield must be worth it. Oh, hello there. I'm literally not going to do anything different. Let's see, what are you all about? Well, no. I mean, kind of threatening. We also just did like 3,000 damage. Luna did like 3,000 damage. That did 1,300. You, you, you're a little bit damaging, but I'm not really too concerned yet. As long as he doesn't keep hitting the same person over and over again. Yeah, I mean, our healing was good enough. Yeah, we've gained tons of levels. So we got an Aegis shield. Trident, but it's a trap. Okay. Uh, hold on. Trident, huh? Well, I don't know if that does... Hmm. Wait, what does this attack go to? It goes up 63? Holy crap! I don't... Uh, let's... Let's go... Oh my god, that is insane! Okay! Cool! I mean... Let's see what that does. <laughs> oh my god! He did almost 800 damage! And he's about to die! Oh my god. That's insane. That is insane. How is this attack compared to everyone else's now? Well, more specifically, Lunith. Oh wow, that actually is kind of close. Jeez. I mean, I would think it's basically just an all-around better Thunder Spear because, I mean, it's a Trident. Well, I mean, Trident's technically water, not lightning, so I don't know. But holy crap, he did the most damage I've seen anyone do yet. So, yeah. Also, uh, just, well, I'll show it in a second. Are these all monster in the boxes? Yeah, okay. I'm thinking this whole cave is just uh, treasures and such. Oh, that's right. I was going to show you guys where our levels are currently. So we're all 38, 39... Uh, he's 36, 24, 55, and 72. Yeah, she's looking really good there. Um, I considered moving everyone to jobs. I looked up what jobs give the most vitality. Uh, 116,000 gil. Whoa. Um, uh, I think we're fine with how we are. I don't know. There still has to be a lot more to this game, right? Like, I don't know why it feels like I'm so close to the end. But there's no way I'm near the end. So I'm going to assume that there's still, like... I'm going to assume that I'm no more than, like, 40 or 50% through the game. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys probably for the end of the episode. 
Okay, so there's supposed to be something in here. I did look up a map. There's only five things in here. And I thought I... This is supposed to be Doga... This is Doga's village. But I thought I went in here and there was nothing here. I'm not sure. Maybe we're supposed to go to the Temple of Time first. Like, this is, like... Something I'm not supposed to see yet. But it looks like there's nothing here. But yeah, so I did look up a map. So I'm just going to quickly hit up these uh, map spots just quickly and see. And also in the uh, sunken cave, that was literally just a treasure trove. So, yeah, so, so there's supposed to be this uh, secret dungeon. I'll see you guys there. So it's supposed to be, like, right here. Yeah, so there's this, Temple of Time, Doga Village, uh, Saronia Catac Catacombs too kind of curious about that but let's see what this is uh yeah so it's like right here eh. oh i actually didn't even know how to get back okay so that's how you do it well i'm not done down here yet so there's supposed to be a secret dungeon here. Hmm, maybe not. Or I'll have to look further into that, I guess. Yeah, I might be way over on this episode, but this is also the last episode I'm going to be recording for the session. So this might be a bit of a longer one. I'm going to go check out these uh, Saronia Catacombs. Let's see what's going on there. Ah, here we are. Saronia Catacombs. Oh, wait. This is probably linked to that other thing I saw. Okay, so that'll pro... Uh, I'm going to hate myself for this, but that'll be it for this episode. Oh, man, I'm really curious what that is, and I really shouldn't record another episode. But uh, that'll be it for this one. That'll be it for this episode in this recording session. I'm at an out. I'm at 57 minutes. I've done a lot of exploring. Wow, level 40. What did, what did we end up at? 39, 29, 61, 75. Holy crap. How much magic can she even have? I, I don't even know. We haven't, like, slept. I, I don't, like, at an inn. I don't even think she can have level 7 or 8. I know that the mages, black and white mages, are limited. And that there are higher level wizards. So, for all I know, she might be capped out. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.